What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today I'll be showing you what is on my Mac. So over here we have the desktop, I just have a few folders right here and a few applications. Just a few apps, Final Cut Pro, Mail, Voice Memos, Notes, Discord, Messages, and Roblox Studio. I am a Roblox developer, so that's why I have Roblox Studio pinned on my desktop right here. And the dock I just keep as the normal dock. And OBS is open because that's what I'm using to record as you can see right here. Now if we take a look at my launch pad, you can see right here I have the default apps that I have installed Mac OS Monterey. I was making a Mac OS Monterey bootable, which is why I have it here. I'll explain why I have a bootable later on. Now on the next page, I have Roblox, Roblox Studio, a few games in here, and Playgrounds. And right here, I have a few apps. I have Final Cut Pro, GarageBand, Pages, Keynote Numbers, Safari Technology Preview, OBS, Microsoft Edge, Apple Frames, and I'll explain what Apple Frames is a little bit later. I have our GX, Color Widgets, Speed Test, Geekbench, and AutoClick. And over here, I have Discord and Twitter. At the end, I have the Apple Developer app. Now, my Mac, I use it more than my phone and my iPad combined. And if we take a look at my widgets here, I have my calendar widget, my weather widget, and I have an Apple Stocks widget, a custom widget for WWDC, and a screen time widget. So in my launch pad, you, you saw I have something called Apple Frames right here. I'm gonna show you what that is. If I were to take a screenshot off my desktop, I'm not gonna take it of my monitor, which I'm using to record. I'm gonna take it of my blank desktop right here of Monterey background. And if I open up the sh shortcut, you will see that a couple of things actually come up. So we could save it to photos, we could save it to files, copy it, copy as JPEG, share it, or preview it. We're just gonna preview it. And this is what it is. It just turns it into the screen right here. I'm using the MacBook Air M1, as you can see in the screenshot with eight gigabytes of RAM, eight core GPU, eight core CPU, and in storage, I have 512 gigabytes right here. Now, I am on Macintosh HD at the moment, but there is another thing called backup disk. What could this be? Well, I'm gonna show you what backup disk is. All right, I have to do a couple of things to get to my backup disk. So I need to, sh first of all, shut down my Mac, and I need to hold my power button while turning it on. And as you can see, it says continue holding for startup options. Loading startup options, I can now let go. Backup disk, and click on continue. And you see it starts booting up into Mac OS. Now I just need to log in like normal. And as you can see right here, it's just a blank Mac OS, right? It just looks blank, but what is this mobile sync folder? Well, I'm just gonna open it up and then in this backup folder, you can see right here, I have two folders right here. And if we go into one of the folders, they're just random things in here. There's like nothing in here. Well, these are actually the backups for my phone and iPad. Now the reason why I have these backups is just in case Mac OS 13 is really buggy or iOS 16 is really buggy, I could just back up into a backup disk. Now I'm not gonna have it in my main Mac OS 13 because I'm gonna be getting Mac OS 13 betas and helping Apple beta test it. So just in case Mac OS 13 is really buggy, I can just go into Mac OS 12 right here and that is why the storage is a lot because these are all just backups for my phone and iPad. And yeah, that's basically all that's on my Mac. I used my Mac a lot, a lot more than my phone and iPad. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!